Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 6th of 2022. Well, it is titled dark ball in inverted star field. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of an object which actually turns out to be our sun. Now, while it may not look like images of the sun that we're typically used to seeing, it shows quite a bit of detail and was taken uh, back almost a decade about a decade ago, uh, looking at a specific color of red light emitted by hydrogen. So you look just at that red light and then convert it into a black and white image and then invert the colors so that what that, that bright and dark are then inverted. And we see then this dark ball, which is our sun. And we can see all of the features on it that we're used to seeing. We can see along the edge, we see a number of solar prominences associated with solar activity. So the more active the sun is, the more prominences we will see. And you can see a number of those sticking out from the edge of the sun. These occur when the magnetic field pops through the surface and lifts plasma off the surface of our sun and then it rains back down. So they are temporary features material is just lifted up and then falls back down to the sun. If it is lifted with enough force it can actually be expelled outward in a solar flare. Now on the surface of the sun we see a number of these as well although they do not show up of course they show up very well against the background of the stars when we see them against the sun itself they're a little bit more hidden but we can see all sorts of features within the sun that are associated with its magnetic activity. Now this was taken in 2012 when the sun was near its last maximum of activity. The sun has an activity in an 11 year cycle so we are coming up over the next couple of years to a solar maximum again when we will see far more activity on the sun more solar flares more prominences and more activity within the surface of the sun including many sunspots. So the more activity we see there uh, the more the particles will be traveling out through space and the more interaction with our atmosphere we will see giving us far more aurora as well. Now we also have two images put together here because we also see the inverted star field behind it. If we take an image of the sun, the stars are going to of course be blocked out by the intense brightness of the sun. So we would not be able to see an image directly like this we would see just the sun. But we can put the two images together to see the sun against the star field as to how it would look if you could see the stars and the sun at the same time. However, the brightness of the sun would then overwhelm and you would not be able to normally see these stars that we see behind them. So here we have a completely inverted sort of a negative image of the sun uh, showing some of the intense activity that occurred a decade ago and giving us a preview of what is coming up over the next few years as we reach the next peak of solar activity. So that was our picture of the day for November 6th of 2022. It was titled Dark Ball in Inverted Star Field. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Nebular Mystery. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.